Now, yeah. there's this painting hanging in the U.S. Capitol. We've just learned about this, and it depicts police officers as pigs in a year when 135 officers were killed in the line of duty. 64, by the way, were shot. You can see there the painting there. Now, the congressman involved in this, um, I should say by way of context, that there typically are a lot of paintings in the Capitol when you walk between the office buildings because they do these contests from each like person's schools district and, and kids schools, and, and they try to yeah. highlight, okay, my district has this really cool piece of art, a landscape or something. But to throw into the mix and not have somebody say, well, wait a second, this one's offensive. It may, the colors may be nice and all that, but the message in it is disgusting. Why would you put that up in the Capitol? And, you know, over the, you know, it comes to New Year's and we talk a lot about the celebrity deaths and, you know, George Michael, great legacy and Debbie Reynolds and all of that is fine to talk and reflect and remember. But how often do we or anyone, how much time do we spend on the police officers who try yeah. to protect us and back were killed? On over 100 well, of them this year. Well, not just them. I mean, even their family members where mm -hmm. they have to kiss them goodbye every morning knowing that they could be in harm's way. They don't know what, what could happen. We, we said these numbers, 135 of cops that were killed in line of duty mm -hmm. just this past year, 64 cops that were killed by shooting so alone. Instead, let's in throw a painting up that yeah, it depicts them as If there's pigs. one place where they should be reflected positively, it's of course our capital and the folks that are supposed to have their back. But well, hopefully that changes by shining a light on it.